Corinthians chapter 13. First Corinthians 13. First Corinthians 13. Uh, I have New King James, but I would appreciate anyone with uh, NIV. If there is anyone with an NIV version, you can read it for us. First Corinthians 13, from verse 1 up to verse 8. Yes. Verse 1 to verse anyone with an IV? Or I read? Okay, I'll read. Huh? Are we all there? If you are there, say amen. Not yet there, say wait. We can wait for you. Nobody's flipping the Bible. One person is flipping the Bible. So we can give you time. Amen, amen, amen. I will read. Huh? The Bible says, If I speak in tongues of men and of angels, or of angels, but do not have love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging, a clanging symbol. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have faith that can move mountains but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves, perseveres. Love never fails. But where there are prophecy, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. Amen. For, let me just read 9 also. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when completeness comes, what is in part disappears. Father, in the name of Jesus, I stand amidst your people today, Lord. And I stand as your servant, Lord, and I humble myself before thee. That I, as I stand here, Lord, nothing of me but all of you, O King of glory. This is your word written in your book, O God, that I have read. How I pray, King of glory, that the same way you gave it to me, O God, may I be able to give it to your people, O Father, to hear it the way you would want them to hear and understand it, O God. I pray, my Father, that this word, O God, may change the life of somebody for good, that this word, O Father, may make somebody move from one step to the other. Lord, I ask that you may take part in this with me. Holy Spirit, let's do this together. For in Jesus' name, we pray and believe. Amen, amen, amen. Let us all be seated. Amen. I know we were expecting Pastor Olga to be the minister of the day today. Uh, but I'm the one standing. So I hope you're not disappointed. I hope you're not disappointed that... I thought I saw Pastor Olga on the post. Why am I seeing Pastor Carol? Pastor Olga was not able to make it this early. Uh, yesterday, unfortunately, their kids were involved in an accident. And uh, one of the, the other one who was hurt was the sister's daughter. The other ones were also hurt, but not so much. So then she's not able to come in early. So I stepped in. Sometimes in ministry, you have to be ready every other time. It ne you never have to be told, so uh, we also pray for Nicole, who is Emilia Dede's daughter, to get better. And even the other kids, they are a little bit traumatized, but we thank God that they will be better. So today, I want to speak about something. This is a topic that is a little bit huge. But God placed it in my heart yesterday evening. And I say that, uh, why not? Let me come and let us just partake together in this word of God. Amen. There's a song in my heart. Eh? Just before I, I begin. 
uh, present worship if you can help me sing in the next few minutes you can be sure i'll be fini i'll finish by our service will end by 10:30 uh present worship just come and help me there's this song i love it so much and i think you all know i love it ume tenda majabu na siwezi kueleza siwezi kueleza oh siwezi kueleza oh ume tenda majabu na siwezi kueleza Umete na majabu Let us all just help me sing this song Umete na majabu na siwezi kueleza Siwezi kueleza Oh siwezi kueleza Baba wewe umete na majabu Nasiwezi kueleza umetenda majabu Oh umetenda majabu Nasiwezi kuyanena siwezi kuyanena siwezi kuyanena siwezi oh, Siwezi kusema yote Oh umetenda majabu Oh na siwezi kueleza Umetenda majabu Let us all just tell him he's done so much for us Umetenda majabu We cannot count on him Siwezi kueleza Praise and worship. Thank you. You can be seated. <coughs> that is a song that I always love so much because the things that God has done for us sometimes we cannot just say them all. There are too many that God projected his love on us in such a way that there is nothing that we can do even to compensate for that love that he shown us and is done for us and my title today is love and servitude love and servitude servitude or service to make it easier we have read from the book of first corinthians 1 Corinthians 13 from 1 to 8 talking about what love is and Paul is trying to tell the church in Corinth that however much you do so many of these things when you don't have this which is love then it is like nothing 
and in that very chapter 13 verse 13 of it it says that now abide faith hope and love and these three but the greatest of these is love why is greatest of these love it means it is because love is the foundation turn with me to the book of luke 10 27 to 37 Luke 10, 27 to 37. And I will read 27 first before I continue. So he, he answered. Let us start from 25. And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tested him saying, Teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, what is written, what is written in the law? He asked, what is your reading of it? So he answered and said, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, with all your strength and with all your mind. And your neighbor as yourself. The greatest commandment is love. And God, if Jesus was talking about love here. It's because even his coming to the world was because of love. That verse that all of us know from Sunday school, John 3, 16. That for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. So grace was birthed through love. We are free today because love happened somewhere, sometime before. We were redeemed from the law because of love. Love that God had for us has redeemed us. Today we are free because of love. And so love was the foundation, was the start. Ndiyo ilikuwa chanzo. Ya sasa sote tukaweza kukua huru siku ya leo. Praise God. So love was there before. God showed us love. Praise God. And God's love is unconditional. And my someone today is going to talk about you, your love. Ile ya mungu najua unajua. The unconditional one, you can tell me that one you know. You know you are loved regardless. It's unconditional. But I want to talk about love in the church of Christ. Love amidst brethren. Love even to the unlovable. Love in serving God. Praise God. Love is equated to passion. It's passion. sana kwa undani. Deeply. Something that you love deeply. Praise God. Something that you associate with in a passionate and an intimate way. And that is what God requires us to give in return. You know when Jesus was washing the disciples feet. After he had washed their feet and dried them. He told them likewise do this. He knew his time had come and he was going. But he was leaving them with love. He washed even Judas' feet, whom he knew that was going to betray him. Please, God. Love. That he first loved us, sent his son to redeem us. But likewise, he's telling us that even if we do all these things without life, then it is like nothing. That is what Paul is telling the church in Corinth. He's telling them that yes, even if you speak in tongues, there is something that started in the beginning which was love that you must never lose sight of in it all. Love. Praise God. You know, when we were being prayed for by Bishop Evans, I never call him the late. 
for me, I always believe he's somewhere in this church. He told Pastor Sati and I something. And he said that you are going now to be ministers. You're going to minister to people. And one thing that you must know that you must love them all. You must love. As a pastor, you must love. And do not expect 100% love back. Praise God. Because you cannot control how they feel about you. But you can control how you react and feel about them. Praise God. I know I'm standing here today to minister. Probably somebody is a diehard fan of Pastor Olga here. And because Pastor Olga was to me and he's not ministering, you're like, Aki Mimi, I don't like Pastor Carol. I just wanted Pastor Olga. It can happen. I'm not saying it. It can happen. Praise God. But I am called as a minister to love you regardless. I am called as a minister to do the call of God here and project love and finish at that. You might not like my white dress. You might not like something about me. But regardless, God is calling us to love unconditionally. The same love that Jesus portrayed. The same love that he had for us and sent his only begotten son. That that is the kind of love that God wants us to have in the church of God. Praise God. Let me tell you, if I was to give back to some people what they gave me, I would not be greeting some people today. In this very church. Praise God. There are so many things that happen to us that can tell us, hey, toka tu kwa hiyo kanisa, onge hera. That is what we run with. But I will tell you for a fact, there is no church that has love than Karyubangi Church. If you have gone to so many churches outside here, you will agree with me. But regardless, we are still tailoring this. We are still saying, we must love and walk in love, move by love, do by love. Even if the society is saying otherwise. Even if that person is unlovable. Even if that person doesn't even deserve one ounce of love. We have been called to love in the church of God. We have been called to love. I cannot say that I am walking with you. And I hate you. That's a very strong word. Praise God. Because at the beginning was love. In the beginning was love. You are seated here today because of love. You are dressed today because of love. You are full of health today because of love. It started with love. And that is what God is calling us today to do. In return, to love even the unlovable. To love even those who betray us. Please God. Some of you are new in this church. You might not know our stories here. Praise God. But God is teaching us love. Praise God. Love. Love. God wants us to love each other. God wants us to serve in his kingdom with love. Praise God. That is the same love that he wanted us to give back. And he said, love your God with everything. Kila kitu chako mpende mungu wako. But some of you here, you just want to love God kwa mudomu. But when the sadaka box is here, mm -mm. upendo yako na mungu iko limited. Praise God. You don't want to show love. And love is action. Praise God. Love is action. Bwana sifiwe. I can tell you every day that I love you. But if I don't act that love, if I act otherwise, then it doesn't portray that love. That is why Jesus, however much he loved the disciples and they knew it, he made, he made it a service. 
He went and said, I am washing your feet. And I remember Peter, if I read my Bible correctly, Peter was asking, akakataa kasema mimi usinioshe. Akamwambia, wacha lazima nikuoshe. Kama sio hivyo basi hautakuwa nami. You will not part of me. I think that is the right word if I, the Bible said. And he said, now wash my head, legs, my hands, my feet and everything in my head. Praise God. Because love is service. Love ni kujitolea. Love is sacrifice. Praise God. Why would God sacrifice his only son for all of us? Why? Love compelled him to do that. Love pushed him to do that. Because the world was getting lost in the law. The world was getting lost. But his love for us compelled him to send his only begotten son to come and rescue you and I today. That is the same love that God wants us to give in his church. Love of sacrifice and service. Praise God. That I will serve God. Nitampenda. Love your God with everything. Love your God with everything. Praise God. He's loved us already. We know we are loved. We don't have a, a doubt about that. But Jesus is saying, love your God with everything. And one whom you love, you show acts of love. Praise God. You show acts of love. The one whom you love. All of us, some of us have different definitions of love. Mtu atasema mimi uh for me uh, if you're in a church like this, we are brethren, a church like this. So because something happened to me and I expected to see 50 people, I've just seen three. So that is not love. Praise God. So so we measure how do you say? Unasema mimi watu wenye wamekuja ni kidogo tu, hata sio watu wengi sasa sijaona upendo. But I want to pose the question back to you. How much love do you give? Praise God. Before you count how many people showed up for you, I am not talking about them. I am talking about you. Praise God. I'm talking about you. Before you start pointing fingers at how many people love you, you are not loved by your pastor. Pastor Carol does not love me. It is not about Pastor Carol. It is about you. Praise God. You cannot control Pastor Carol. You can only work on what is in you and project it and give it out. And when you give it out, as sure as I know that God is on his throne and he's the one who gave us this, you will always receive that same love back. Praise God. So I'm talking about you. Not about other people and what they do to you. You as a Christian. You who wakes up in the morning and say, I am going to church to serve God. You who wakes up and say, I love God this much. Yes, I got some 1,000. I know I can give a tithe of a hundred. But because uh, this hundred, kwa kanisa ya buwana usifanye kazi sana, I am going to reduce it to 20. Mm -mm. Praise God. Or I'm going to reduce it to 50. You, not about other people. Praise God. And that is why sometimes I like using my own experience because I know how far God has brought me on this thing called love. I know how many hurdles and how many times I had to pray to overcome some things. How would you greet and hug somebody who pulled a church member and told him, stop associating with Ben, Carol? Praise God. And they get to me, but I wake up in the morning and I will greet you and hug you. Genuinely. Praise God. Because I have been called to love. I cannot control what you think about my husband or me. But I can control what I, Carol, can do. Because the word of God tells me, Carol, you have to love them, even the unlovable. You have to show them love. They might look unlovable. They might be speaking ill of you. They might be speaking bad behind your back. But Carol, you have to love them. You have to show them love. Praise God. They have 
loved one. I have some 500 shillings. I will give. Praise God. Yet yesterday, you just said something about me. And so that is why I'm telling you as I'm speaking to you all that I love you all genuinely. Praise God. I love you all genuinely. Because that is what I've been called to do. If you love God, you must obey his word. Praise God. And love calls for service. Love is servitude. You will wake up in the morning and desire to show love. You have your children, you show them love. You have your spouses, you show them love. But God, today I'm talking about love in the church of God. Praise God. Love in the church of God. Loving even those who are unlovable. And the highest expression of love and service is to obey God. Love is more than a word. It is a decision and an action. It is something that you decide and say, I want to love. Praise God. I might not like his shoes, her dress, but I love her. Regardless. Praise God. And love is not just about us who have titles, pastors, and cell group leaders, and uh, uh, women lead. For each and every one of us. Praise God. For each and every one of us. Love that Christ teaches us has no boundaries. The status of somebody should not limit you to love. Judas was a betrayer, but God, Jesus loved him all the better anyway. Praise God. The status of somebody should not determine how you love them. That I just want to associate with a certain class of people. That is not love. Praise God. That I know I just have my own clique that I can love and associate with. That is not love. That is actually, allow me to use this. You know there's this tick. Tick yangombe. You are just, uh, you are attaching yourself because you are gaining. That is not love. Love has no boundaries. Love does not choose. I don't need to love you simply because you stay in lucky summer or you worship in Karyoba. I love you regardless. That is what God is calling us today to do. He is telling us that love has no boundaries. You need to love everyone. You need to show love. Praise God. Bible tells me where we have read in the book of 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians. That love suffers long. Let me read uh, from the NIV. That love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not, but it is not proud. Now I go to verse 5. It does not dishonor others. Praise God. Love does not dishonor others. No. Praise God. Love does not dishonor others. When the adulterous woman was brought before Jesus, they had already judged her, wanted to kill her because she was an adulterous woman. Praise God. But because love was there in the beginning, Jesus says, whoever has no sin to lift the first soul, and they all disappear. That even in that dishonor, God, Jesus in return gave that woman honor. Praise God. But love does not dishonor others. Love does not bring down others. I don't dim your light so that mine can shine brighter. That is not love. Praise God. And you must know that I'm not standing here ministering to you because I am better than you. Praise God. It is just a call that God has given. Maybe you also have your call in the house of God. Praise God. My husband always says something. And he has said this until it has become part of him. He always says that him, 
He's been called to serve God with his resources. Praise God. And he tells me, you, you have been called to minister the word of God. And I am telling you a testimony because I know it is true. We are where we are because of serving God with our resources. For those who have been in this church long enough, when we were still in the hall, I am telling you this because I know, and the Holy Spirit can confirm with me, that we are where we are because we loved to serve God with our resources, without holding back. We loved God that much. Praise God. When we started our life in Dandora, that is where I got married when my husband was living in Dandora. Phase four. I never forget. Phase four, behind Caria Supermarket. That is where we started our life. That I did not have a job. I was not working. So I have even had some things you people have said, but I was not working then. So it was only my husband who was working. And we loved God so much that ata harambe itoke to kidogo ivi. Whatever we have, we would give baka to baki sa zingine na fea tu. Or sometimes we would walk up to Raunda. Then you pick Garia. Ya kwenda dandora. Praise God. And so he understands and says that you know me, my call I know is to serve God. So when there is anything that is needed in church, I don't hold back giving. Praise God. Because that is the call that has been placed in his, heart, in his life. He knows that that is the action of love that he does in the church of God. In return of that very love that God did by sending his only son. Praise God. So even me, I am here ministering passionately. Because I love God. Praise God. And so in your various ministries and calls that God has given you, do not hold back. You do it passionately. Mom shared something about excellence. You do it excellently. Do not hold back. When you love somebody, you don't hold back. Praise God. And so we have been called to love God fully Holy, diligently, with everything, with our strength, with our mind, with everything of us. We have been called to love. And so the first call that we have, all of us, you don't need to have a title. You don't need to have a status. You don't need to be qualified. You have been called to love in the church of God. And the same Bible says that love your neighbor as you love yourself. So that, you can imagine the love that you give yourself. The love that you wake up in the morning and you love yourself so much to dress well and put up well. That is the same measure of love that God wants you to love that neighbor who is seated next to you. So it, is, it calls for more. It calls for more than what you can just see or imagine. It calls for sacrifice. Praise God. It calls for more. So love is a sacrifice. That you, my neighbor, who is seated next to me, I need to love you more to help lift you up together with me and not dishonor you or demean you. I need to love you. I need to love my neighbor as I love myself. Praise God. Let me read Luke as I finish. Love. We have been called to love even those that we believe are unlovable. Luke 10, where we just read one verse. So I'll continue and read from verse 28. And he said to him, You have answered rightly. Do this and you will live. But he wanting to justify himself, said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Then Jesus answered and said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and fell among thieves who stripped him of his clothing, wounded him and departed, leaving him half dead. Now, by chance, a certain priest came down that road, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. 
Likewise, a Levite, when he arrived to the place, came and looked and passed by on the other side. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed up, came where he was. And when he saw him, he had compassion. So he went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. And he set him on his own animal, brought him to an inn and took care of him. On the next day, when he departed, he took out two denarii, gave them to the uh, innkeeper and said to him, take care of him and whatever more you spend, uh, when I come again, I will repay you. So which of these three do you think was neighbor, was neighbor to him who fell among the thieves? And he said, he who showed mercy on him. Praise God. Then Jesus said to him, go and do likewise. Praise God. This person is coming across a priest, somebody with a title. He's coming across a Levite. The Levites are the Wakuhani. Praise God. But even them with the titles and the expectation that this heart person would have expected for them did not get. But this Samaritan, praise God, this Samaritan takes him in Bandages his wound and even uses his resources to take care of him. And he said, do likewise. Praise God. So I want you to understand that the kind of love that we have been called to is a love that is not regarding any title or the way you come from or your status. Regardless, we all have been called to love. You do not expect me today to love you as a pastor. First and foremost, before I have that title, I have been called to love you. Likewise to you, you have been called to love each and every person, regardless, even the unlovable. Praise God. Even the unlovable, you have been called to love. That is the call that God is calling us today to do. Because in the beginning, he loved us so much. You are free today because his son died on the cross for you. And he's telling us that that same unconditional love is what he requires of us to give. Praise God. That same love. Regardless of title. Praise God. And that means that love forgives. Love forgives. You must forgive. There's a day that mom spoke here about forgiveness. You must forgive. Praise God. Connect this to that teaching of forgiveness. You must forgive. You cannot be holding grudge and say that you love somebody. You must forgive. You must forgive. Allow me to speak to the married people in the house, you must forgive. You cannot claim you love that man or woman, but you have so much in your heart. You must forgive. And marriage is an institution of two great forgivers. You must forgive. You must forgive. Forgiveness is a must. Forgiveness is a must. I say that if, if I was to return some of the actions that some people gave me, I would not be saying hi to some people. I would not be greeting some people in this sanctuary. Praise God. I would not be doing that. You're passing beside somebody and he's saying, Magi wundo regi leu ni mabocho. I will not be saying hi to those who prophesy that my marriage will only last three months. Who unto you, I'm clocking 12 years. I will not be saying hi to some of the things that I had. But you, because somebody said, uh, 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 what? Somebody said that, ni, it go church. then you've gone outside. I'm not leaving. No, 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 no. Praise God. I will forgive you and come back to this church. I will forgive and come back. Praise God. Because you and your issues is you. It is all about me. What I project and give out. Because I cannot control what you do to me. But I can. 
I have the powers within me. I have the authority within me. God has given me the authority and the and the power inside of me to love you regardless. How beautiful would it be if all of us would give out love to each and every one regardless of who they are. Praise God. That I will love you regardless. Probably you said that about me because nei kiari no bothni. When I see you, I would say no bothni. But I will love you regardless. And I want to tell you a testimony. That even in those moments that words would get into me about what people would say or what people would do against me. Do you know that by that very love today, I have seen kind of God kuna the, kuna ile neema Mungu anakupatia sasa na wao. Praise God. There is some level of grace that now God give God gives you with them. Because of love. if I would have I would retaliated by not associating with them by feeling like that they 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 never liked me, they never loved me, so why should I love them? And there's this a uh, walk people saying cut them off i agree cut them off give, give boundaries but still love them praise god love everyone church of god love regardless na love haina kunungunika praise god haina kunungunika it might be so hard you might feel like i have all the rights to complain love does not complain Praise God. Love is more. Church of God, we have been called to love. We have been called to reach out. We have been called to be there even for those people who sometimes may not be there for us. Show love. Praise God. Show love. as i finish love can break down the attitudes of hate neglect heart i think that one i'm talking i've spoken about love forgives love is not self seeking love does not delight in evil love sacrifices praise god that it is not about the titles that we hold i might fail you You might expect me to show up and I don't show up. I might fail you because I'm a human being. But it is not about me, it is about you. Praise God. You must you might expect so much from me because I am a youth pastor. The youth might might expect so much from me. And in one way I might fail them. But Carol is a human being, it is about you. What are you projecting outside? Project love regardless. Praise God. Love is very powerful. Love is patient, it's kind. It is not self-seeking. Praise God. Love is not about the titles that we own. Love is something that all of us have been called to do. But this man even gave as i finish this man the samaritan gave even two denarii to the innkeeper to take care of this man love calls us to serve love calls us to serve it you praise god and so as kario bangi church we will show love to god even by giving our resources we will not hold back praise god we will we will love god and serve as well in the house of god praise god not just with our resources there are so many things that happen even in this church you came here you found that chair somebody has put it there and you sat on it it did not have dust somebody wiped it praise god so many acts of service happened by some people in this church by just showing love to god 
And so I'm reaching out to all of you that God is calling us to love regardless. To love him and love our neighbors. You. Praise God. His love is unconditional. We can never fault that. But God is calling you to love him in service and love your neighbor as well in service. That we will serve. We will serve God. We will serve our neighbors. We will love God. We will love our neighbors. Regardless. 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 Nothing. There is no boundary. There is no limit. That we will reach out. We will forgive. We will be with our friends, with our neighbors, with the people around us and love them regardless. Praise God. And we will forgive and let go. Amen. We have been called to love each and every person regardless of status, regardless of class, regardless of education qualification, regardless of what they can do in our lives. Not just we going as if they come at last. We're just reaching out because we know what we are getting. But we are loving people regardless. Regardless. We have been called to love God and love people regardless. All of us. Praise the Lord. Let us all stand. And even as we pray, I just want us to reflect on those areas that we have fallen short and not given out love when we ought to. In those areas that we have fallen short of showing our love. In those areas that we have held back service to God because we are limiting what we have to serve God with. In those areas that the Holy Spirit spoke to you and pushed you to even serve God in service, but you held back. So I'm reaching out to all of us that even as we pray, let us reflect on those areas that we have fallen short. That this love that God showed us by giving us his only son that we can also show back by sacrifice, by forgiving, by letting go and loving and embracing our neighbors regardless. Let us all just say a word to God. All of us. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I want to thank you for your word today. I want to exalt you, O Jehovah, for your word. Today you have taught us about love. You have reminded us that love sacrifices. Love forgives. Love does not dishonor others. Love is not proud. Love is not boastful. Love is patient. Love is kind, oh God. That we may be able to show and bear these fruits of love in our lives and our walk as Christians. That we will love our neighbors. We will love our friends. We will reach out through love. That we will show love even in situations that we don't deserve to show love. That we will manifest love in issues, oh God, that we should not even manifest love. I pray, oh God, that in Kariobangi Church, that love will be our language. Love will be our lifestyle. Love will be above everyday talk. Love will be what we move with. Love will be what uh, founds us on every course of activity in the church. That love will drive us. Love will compel us to go beyond. Love will move us, oh God. That we shall reach out to everyone in love. Oh God, we thank you for your love. The love that you've shown us. The love that you have sent your only begotten son. That now we can love back. You have sent us to go and do the same. You have sent us uh, to go and love our neighbors. That we should love, oh God. Love will be our lifestyle. Love will be our everyday move. We thank you, we honor you. Thank you for teaching us this morning about love. Thank you. For reminding us that the same measure of love we give ourselves, that that is the same measure of love that you require us to give our neighbors. That love is not self-seeking. Receive praise and honor because of your word. In Jesus' name, amen, 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 amen.